So McMap is a Marine Corps Martial Arts program. Uh, it was developed in 1999. Uh, we also did other training, which was uh, line training and close combat training before, uh, back, in, back in the day. But Marine Corps Martial Arts program now is a more developed, more war fighting uh, program. Uh, kind of mixed in with a lot of ground fighting, uh, standing strike, and also with weapons and everything like that. Right here, this, that. Recruits actually love doing this. Um, it's really new to them. They never really done fighting anything before the Marine Corps uh, joining, unless they grew up doing karate or taekwondo or something like that. So it's kind of a lot of this stuff is brand new to recruits, uh, whether it's stand up or doing takedowns or working with weapons. So every time I have a class, they're actually really excited to do it. Like it's something new to them, especially when they start taking taking each other down or using a weapon, learning stuff that Marines do on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's actually they actually love doing it. The war ethos also, we also go by the, the three disciplines that we go by, physical, character, and mental. Uh, the physical, obviously, being physically able to do anything and overcome that physical barrier, not just about being strong, but just having that, that will to do something. Now, obviously, we've got the mental. You can't really do anything without having that mental capacity of just overcoming obstacles and everything like that, and that's what we really strive for and uh, make math. And also the character, it's not just about being physically or mentally fit, but also having that character, obviously going by the leadership traits, leadership principles that the Marine Corps goes by. Marines as a whole, we have a warrior mindset, and McMap is used to embody that. Uh, just because you're not on the front line doesn't mean that you don't get to participate in that warrior spirit. So, won't mind any weapon, just because we're out of rounds, the fight's not over yet. So, we have to teach them the basics before they can start to actually engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat because somewhere along the line they're probably going to have to do so. So the physical aspect is easy. If you suck at pull-ups, you can do pull-ups to get better. Crunches, you can do crunches to get better. But it takes a little bit more time to get mentally strong and to get past mental fatigue. So telling your body that you can go even when your body's telling you that you can't go, that's something that has to be trained and that doesn't just happen overnight. So it has to be constantly trained in order for your mind to catch up with your body.